As most of you already know, OpenAI has just released a new model called O1. In today's video, I'll be seeing if this model can bypass AI detectors like Originality.ai, which is the hardest AI detector to bypass. So first, I'm going to set up some custom prompts and custom instructions. So I'm going to tell it to when writing, write like a human that will not be detected by AI. And I've given it some examples of how I would like the output to be. So if you want to use this for yourself, I'll leave a link to this documentation below. But essentially, it just tells the AI to write in a way that is more human-like and less likely to be detected by AI and actually giving it examples of how it can write. So conversation doesn't mean sloppy. Using personal pro pronouns like you makes our chat more engaging. Variety is the key. And of course, keep it concise. Right. So this is the prompt in which I'll be using. I will test this around if this doesn't work. So now we're going to save. We're going to enable that for our chat. Uh, and now what we're going to do is I'm also going to prime the AI with my low AI and SEO prompts. So this is, again, going to be also in the description below today's video. And this tells the AI how to write bypassing AI detectors. So when writing, I want you to follow these instructions. Use active, active voice, um, use idonyms, uh, perplexity, write focusing on perplexity and burstiness. So I'm going to copy this over. We're going to paste this into 01. Yep, that's enabled. We're going to paste this in. I'm going to tell it, do you understand yes or no? So this is going to be a good foundation to tell the AI how we would like to write. So we've primed the AI. We've told it exactly what it needs to follow in order to write this content. So it tells us, yes, it's thought about the writing style guidelines and we've added in our custom instructions. So now I'm a little bit more confident that we can bypass AI detectors or at least write much more human like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my prompt to write the full article. So I'm so I told it now to write an article about how to start and grow an AI SaaS company in 2024, aim for 2000 words, include list tables, charts, bullet words, write in markdown and write following the instructions given. So how to start and grow an AI SaaS company, as you can see, it's writing, it is writing in markdown, which is good. Uh, this makes it easier for you to copy over this, and then paste that into markdown to HTML converter. Okay, so it's writing, as you can see, we have a nice little table here, and so forth. So once that's writing, I'm going to log into originality.ai. If you haven't used originality.ai, it is one of the hardest AI detectors to bypass. So here's the full content that we get back from ChatGPT. As you can see, it is pretty long. And when using O1, I do find that you're able to get much longer outputs, much easier. I don't have to prime the AI as much as I have to do when I'm you know, using other models. It really does listen when it comes to instructions on how much content to write. So I've went ahead and converted this. Let's go ahead and do a quick word count. This is going to be, let's see. So 2,500 words, this is really good stuff here. Like you're able to write really long, in-depth articles um, using O1. As you can see, it's much, it's very relevant. Um, it doesn't sway in terms of the content. Um, it does follow those instructions. So now we're gonna do a content scan. We're going to paste in the content and we're going to see what the result is going to be in terms of AI detection. So in terms of AI detection, is 82% confident that is likely AI. Um, this is obviously not the greatest um, result, but again, it's not 100% AI. So I think that is a good start. Um, we can probably do some more prompting and some more experimentation to see how we can get this to be a little bit lower. Um, but I, that is good signs that it's not 100%. I went ahead and added a new prompt. I told it to um, write in a temperature of one and rewrite the article so that it's more human-like sounding. So I'm going to do a retest and see if this content will actually um, do better in terms of its results. So let's paste this in here. I don't think it's finished writing the article, but actually let's go ahead and copy the code first. We're going to convert this over. Okay, so this is the new article here. We're just going to copy over about half of the article and we're going to do a new content scan. So in terms of this AI detection score, it is 79% confident that it's AI written. So that means that um, this one is actually a little bit better by a couple percentiles, but nothing really, really, you know, much different from our original um, test. 
So I think it is a little bit harder to bypass AI detectors just in general, especially using originality.ai. I'm sure if we used you know, some other AI detection tool, we would be able to bypass it. But I think originality.ai is a really good benchmark. Again, I don't focus too much on AI detection scores because I have 100% AI rating content that ranks number one on Google. So I don't really care too much about this metric, but if you would like to um, focus more writing less AI detected content, then this could be a strategy in which you can use. So the answer is, is that it doesn't necessarily bypass AI detectors, but it writes more human-like that will have a lower detection score. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care.